In this presentation, we will add projects and assign them to a customer. Now remember, as we add the projects, this is going to be similar to the terminology within a job cost system that would be used for jobs or within the desktop version, which would just basically be jobs. Although projects and jobs or sub customers are not exactly the same thing as we saw in prior presentations. The projects are what we're going to be using here to track that information, track each basically job or item and then have that applied to the customer. Let's get into it with Intuit's QuickBooks Online. Here we are in our job costing company practice file dashboard. We're gonna be considering the projects items down below. So we're gonna be adding the projects. So we'll go down to the projects. Before we do, however, we might wanna just confirm the customer we have set up. So if we go to the sales tab, let's go to the sales tab first. And you'll recall that we set up a customer. So if I go over to the customers, and we set up a customer it's just called customer one so we have set up here customer one and uh and that's already in process now if you don't have that set up you could simply add the new customer up top and add the customer one now we're going to go to the projects tab on the left hand side so we're going to go into the projects tab scroll down and we want to start a new project so we're going to start a new project we're going to just name the projects by number obviously you might want to get more specific i'm going to put uh, job number 14 you might want to say you know this is whatever project name that you would like to put on it then we're going to select the customer and i'm going to be posing customer one so this is job 14 for customer one then of course we can add notes as needed so i'm going to go ahead and save that so that's going to be our information there and then you got our project information this is the first project so it gives us you know the project as a, as a glance a quick little walkthrough of the project you've got the income you've got the uh, costs and then of course the profit of the project the net the net profit in essence uh, see your project organized by income and cost to make sure you stay profitable so you can organize this information uh, in different ways we'll take a look at more of this as we go through the practice problem see how time is being spent you can add your team's time so you can basically track time through the project as well so there's a lot of detail within the projects that you can you can track your information with multiple views uh, of your project drill into the detail manage uh, manage and report on what has been spent how much has been uh, invoiced and identify your next step so then i'm going to go next and the last one keep organized see all the pieces of your project in one place uh, add an estimate and invoice a bill or uh, expense so i'm going to say done and this is going to be what our project uh, basically uh, dashboard here looks like also note that by default, it, the project's going to be in progress. So you can you can think of this in terms of our, our project information. Of course, we're going to be in pro progress versus completed or canceled. If we compare this to our Excel sheet, just to consider our Excel sheet, you'll note that we're going to call basically the project's jobs in the Excel sheet. So we've got our jobs information on the right hand side and we just basically labeled our jobs, the three jobs here. We're going to then be applying to those jobs the costs of the items that will be applied to them which is going to be including uh, the direct materials the direct labor and the factory overhead obviously within the project situation that's what we're going to be tracking that's what we're going to use within quickbooks to help track that information so we'll kind of do a comparison so you can see the transparency of uh of excel and then consider consider the projects over here of course in the quickbooks online let's go ahead and add another project we're just going to add the same three projects as our example problem so in excel we'll show you how we would do this with journal entries and basically our sub ledger by job over here we'll do the same thing with uh with quickbooks online in essence so i'm going to minimize this we're going to go back on over another project so we're going to go back to the projects you could do so probably the best way to go back to the projects is with this uh, all projects tab up top you can also go back into the window on the left hand side also just note that if, if you don't want this window on the left hand side you want more space more real estate as they say you can go up to the, this is called a hamburger apparently there's a hamburger the three lines and we can then close the hamburger that never sound like a weird name to me but it's a hamburger making me hungry but we're in the uh, back i'm going to go to all projects back over here all projects and then we have project number 14 which is the only project we have so far and then we're going to make a new one so i can go back over here and say we want a new project which of course is going to be number 15 and then you can add any other any other kind of name that you want after the 15 up top and then we're going to be choosing a customer that's going to be the same customer customer one 
So note we're, we're saying we have multiple multiple projects for one customer. Obviously you could do that. You could have multiple different customers and then projects for them. It's kind of like a different tier within it. So you could imagine having one customer for which you're doing multiple different jobs for uh, that customer in. So I'm gonna go ahead and say save and then we'll set up the next customer. Same kind of activity, same kind of screen, of course. So now we have the next customer that is set up. So we have uh, the all projects, we have the customer one, and then again, is it in progress, completed, or canceled? So we're gonna be in progress, that's gonna be the default. Then I'm gonna go back to all projects again, and we'll do this one more time. So we're back into all projects. We have the two projects down uh, below, which is gonna be 15 and uh, 14. And then you're gonna do this one more time. You're gonna add one more new project. That of course will be project number 16. And then it's gonna be for a customer and you'll be picking up that customer once again, customer one. And then go ahead and save that one. We'll then be taken to our familiar screen where we're gonna be in progress with job number 16. Then I'm gonna go back to all the projects and we've got the three projects that we're currently working on, that being 14, 15 and 16 14 15 and 16 you can then move out of here by opening that hamburger back up and then go wherever you need to go such as the dashboard that's going to be it for now let's get out of here